Hello everyone, in this episode I would like to tell you how I tried to get antivirus related data from Microsoft Defender for Endpoint using Microsoft Intune and Graph API. Antivirus related data, I mean current status, engine and signature version, last full scan date. Why is this necessary? You might assume that if the Defender for Endpoint agent is installed on the host, everything should be fine automatically. But in fact, the antivirus engine and signature versions may be outdated. Real-time protection may be disabled. And so all these need to be monitored. This will be the third episode about Microsoft Enterprise Security APIs. The first was about Defender and Defender API. The second was about Intune and Intune API. And today I am going to talk about the Graph API, which should probably replace all the other APIs and should be more logical and easier. Although, in my opinion, it is even stranger and poorly documented. I didn't like it. To get started with the Graph API, you need to register an Azure app. I described this in detail in the Defender for Endpoint episode. Here I am only listing the Microsoft Graph permissions I used. Device read all, device management configuration read all, device management managed devices read all. So to get a token, execute the following code. Basically it's a POST request to login Microsoft.com. And then the question is how to use this token. Now I will list what I tried and what didn't work. Get Windows protection state. Because it's not clear where to get device management script ID and device management script device state ID. And why is it needed? The second one, get device management reports. Just doesn't work. Device management managed device expand Windows protection state. Also doesn't work. What kind of work? You can get all device IDs with device management managed devices and then get Windows protection state results with separate queries to device management, managed devices, device ID, Windows protection state. This works, but for a large number of hosts, making a large number of requests is crazy. Finally, export of Defender agents report worked. First of all, you need to config the report parameters and order a report. You will receive a unique report ID. Then you wait and check the status of the report using this ID until it is completed. Then you download the report as a zipped CSV and save it. It remains only to turn the contents of the file into a convenient dict. You can do it like this. So that's it for today. Please subscribe and leave your comments. Bye.